pause this video, give this problem a try, and when you have an answer, resume the video, check if you got the answer correct. In this problem, we're given the rate law, so we know that the order of m is 1 and the order of n is 2. We're also given the initial concentration of m and n and the final concentration of m and n. So we can compare the concentrations, and we can see that the concentration of m doubled and the concentration n also doubled. Then we're asked how the rate would increase. Well, since we know that the concentration m and n are both double, we can just pretty much plug that into the rate law. So we can put a 2 right here for m, and then multiply by 2 for the n, but n has is to the second power, 2 to the second order. Then we just evaluate this. 2 times 2 squared, that's going to equal 2 times 4, that's 8. And so the answer here is that the reaction will increase by a factor of 8. Let's slow that down a little bit and talk about why, why we can do this. Well, when we double the concentration of m, that's going to double the rate because it's to the first power. And then when we double the concentration n, that's going to increase that's going to increase the rate four times because that's to the the second power or second order. So then in total, two times this is m times n. The rate will increase by eight times. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.